Hi, my name is George. Page flip pedals are very popular among musicians for hands-free page turning. Every time you tap the pedal, it emits a key press, such as an arrow key. Compatible apps that work with the pedal, such as Fourscore on the iPad or Mobile Sheets on Android, listen for key presses and respond to them. For instance, many compatible apps turn the page forward in response to a down arrow, while an up arrow will cause the page to turn backwards. By default, that key combination is associated with the middle mode on page flip pedals, as indicated by the flashing light next to the button associated with the up-down arrow icon. A blinking LED appears next to the current mode. In general, the pedal acts like a Bluetooth keyboard, albeit with two or four keys, and will work fine with any app that is responsive to a keyboard. In this video, I'll show you how to reprogram the pedal modes so that any keyboard shortcut can be emitted by the pedal. This would allow you, for instance, to tap the pedal to emit Alt-A for toggling the audio mute function in a Zoom meeting, or emitting a volume up signal to take a video or snapshot with your phone's camera. There are endless possibilities. Let's take a look at how we can configure the Firefly or Dragonfly pedal to send out custom keyboard shortcuts. Please note that the Butterfly pedal has three built-in modes, but they cannot be reprogrammed. So this video only applies to the Firefly and Dragonfly pedals. To begin, please download our free Windows and Mac software by visiting pageflip.com and clicking the software link at the bottom of the Firefly or Dragonfly product pages. That will take you to a page where you can select the Windows or Mac version of the software. Although you will reprogram the pedal on a Windows or Mac computer, you'll be able to use the reprogram pedal on any software, including any compatible iPad or Android app. Before you launch the PageFlip reprogramming software, please pair the pedal to your Windows or Mac computer using Bluetooth only. Do not use the USB wire for this step. After launching the software, you will see a message confirming that you have properly paired your pedal to the computer. You will also see a picture of the Firefly or Dragonfly, depending on which one is paired. In this example, we will use the Dragonfly pedal. Five gray boxes, numbered 1 through 5, will appear overlaid upon each of the pedal foot switches. These numbers denote the five pedal modes, with the leftmost mode on the pedal being number 1, and the rightmost mode being number 5. You can actually see these numbers etched into the pedal mode buttons. The keys listed next to these numbers will be emitted when the pedal is pressed while in that mode. To reprogram one of the pedal modes, simply click into one of the boxes and enter a key or a multi-key shortcut, or click on one of the hotkey buttons on the side of the screen. We recommend overriding the mode you least commonly use, nor normally mode 4 or 5. In this example, we will overwrite mode 5 with Alt-A, Alt-F, Volume Up, and Volume Down. After you are finished, press the Save to Pedal button. Please remember to press the desired mode button on the actual pedal in order to switch to that reprogram mode and access the changes you made. The blinking LED indicates which of the five modes is active. If you ever want to reset these changes to the factory defaults, press the Mode Reset button on the back of the pedal. Here are some examples of using the reprogram pedal. First, we will demonstrate it on Zoom. By pressing the right pedal, we emit Alt-A, which Zoom interprets as the audio mute setting. By repeatedly pressing it, we toggle the mute function. By pressing the left pedal, we emit Alt-F, which toggles the full screen mode in Zoom. The upper pedals are assigned for volume control, which can also be used to take snapshots with your phone's camera if the pedal is paired to the phone. Please visit pageflip.com for more information.